Hello and welcome to another episode of Euro Truck Simulator. Right guys, we have just rested uh, so we can start a new job. It was raining when we started to rest and it's still raining. Um, so yeah, France is a bit wet today guys. It is a bit wet. Um, but yeah, right, we're going to do Paris and we need to find a decent sized job. <sighs> bit too big. Would have been a nice job to do. Bit too big though, if I'm honest. Um, new part. <laughs> it's not a bad job. It does take us back into England. Um, to be fair, we could do that one. £16,000. It's a pretty big job. It does take us somewhere new. Portsmouth is a new place in England. I'm trying to just stay on the continent, though. As daft as it sounds. That's a little bit too long, that one. 1,200 miles. The problem is that's... That's pretty much the best job there is. 438 miles. Guaranteed to... Deliver a crane. Kind of an important delivery, so it's a bit of a rush. Mobile crane... £25,000. Like I say, though, the only downside is, is that I, I didn't exactly want to hit England again quite so soon. Oh, that one might be all right. High-value cargo, fragile cargo, standard delivery. We're only going to lose four grand over the Newport one, but we do get to stay in this country, and we get to go... Somewhere, yeah, we do get to stay on the continent, shall I say, and we get to go somewhere new. Yeah, that's not too bad at all. No, that's a bit too much. Just just double checking, just double checking if there's any more, but I think we are massively dropping in. Yeah, I'll tell you what we're going to do then. We're going to deliver some cars from Paris to Bad, wherever that. <laughs> I can't, I ain't even going to try and pronounce that. I'll make a right mess of trying to pronounce that thing. Uh, but yeah, let's. Uh... Let's go and uh, get this delivered. Now, it is going to be a bit of a nighttime trip, guys, because at the end of the day, it is nighttime and there is not much we can do about that. So, we've just kind of got to, uh, kind of just got to deal with it, I'm afraid. But yeah, I'm glad everybody is still enjoying the uh, the trucking series, guys. Do massively appreciate everyone uh, hitting the like button on the videos. Also, massively appreciate everybody who's dropping a comment. Um, I do try and put a comment back to most people. If I don't really know what to put back to you as a comment, I always at least acknowledge I've read it by leaving like a, a little lovey reaction to it. Because, you know, at the end of the day, I do massively appreciate the, uh, at the, the comment. Take the third I just kind of wanted to give a shout out to everybody who was uh, hitting and uh, the like button and leaving a comment. So thank yeah. you very much for doing that. Right, where are we going? One mile to be... I'm hoping I'm going to pass that fuel station because we have a, we have got quite low on fuel actually. Uh, it's not like me to get this low to be honest, but. There's not much we can do about it. I'm sure there'll be a fuel station en route. Go straight on. Well, I hope so. Oh, hang on a minute. We just realised we're speeding, speeding, speeding. Didn't realise that. That's what I mean about this truck. This truck is so nice to drive that you just... Especially when you're in a town, you just don't realise. Like, I didn't feel like I was going that quick then. And I, lo I looked down at the speedo and it's like... Massively speeding and like... Jesus Christ. Get ready. Genuinely prepare. didn't think it was that bad. Right, I'm going in here. Turn left. That delivery should be round the back. Here we are. Safe and sound. Tell you one thing though, guys. Um we are close to getting a Yeah. Okay. We're close to getting another another truck and driver at this rate. I feel like we're making some really, really good money at the moment. You know, for the size jobs we're doing, I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying like we're making great money because like I know there are better paying jobs out there. Right, 
right. I did just want to be a bit quiet while talking, just as since it was raining and it that rain is very loud. Are you for? Are you for real? I literally pressed the button to hook it up and it didn't do it. I would have driven off without the trailer. Let's be honest. Right. Ready to roll. You're gonna, you are gonna work now. Fair enough. Yeah, I think we're gonna pass that fuel station, which is fantastic. If we do, we'll get some fuel. If we don't, we've got to find somewhere to get fuel very soon. So we've got 10 hours 47 for the delivery, apparently. Turn right. I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna go past that fuel station. To be honest, some of the roads we might have been on getting into Paris. Would have liked to explore a little bit more of Paris, if I'm honest. But means we can come back. We've got a lot of places still left to uh, discover, like so. It's not the end of the world. So what have we got? 447 miles. So we do need to try and. Go yeah, we're, we're going to pass that fuel station. Um, yeah, we are going to... We are going to, what is it? Uh, spend a bit of time over in France. So we can make a bit of time on the mileage as well. Hit to about 60 mile an hour. Turn left. Right, fuel station is coming up. There she is. Pull in, make sure there's nobody trying to undertake me or overtake me. And you know what AI traffic's like on this game? It always goes wrong. Um. There you go. Just fancied a bit of a, a bit of a different kind of screenshot today for the thumbnail, I think. How often do you come to a petrol station, or a fuel station, or a gas station? Depending on where you are in the world, depends on what you call it. Wow, that just cost me over a thousand pound. Literally, one thousand and eight pound, and it was only about half a tank. Didn't quite see if anything was coming. I looked then, though it didn't crash, and I still couldn't really see anything. As you can see, it is a very, very wet day over in uh, France today, in, in Paris. Now we have to... Uh... Exit now. Finding a new route. Exit now is not... Rerouting. Is not the road to go on, love. It's the next one. My bad. So that's three days in a row I've managed to not listen to the sat-nav and go wrong. Now, the last two times were at checkpoints and border crossings. Today, it was a roundabout. <laughs> Today, it was a roundabout. I don't really know what I can say about that one. Take the third exit. Third exit. Come on. Let's get some revs. Exit now. The gear's already passed. There we go. Beautiful. Yeah, this truck is so nice. I know I say it in all the episodes, guys, but it is super nice to drive. It, it's it's a proper nice truck to drive for not a very well-liked brand on the game. I, I really do like this truck, and I do think maybe this should be the truck our workers drive in this exact configuration as well. No, oh, airplane. bit too quick bit too quick there we go 60 mile an hour is what we can get away with far over the the limit and we have 431 miles to do so hopefully the majority of this is going to be in France just because at the end of the day as soon as you leave France you do lose a bit of speed um, but what are we shifting today, guys? We are moving seven tons of cars, obviously. I don't even know why I looked, to be honest, because I knew there was bloody cars on the back because we're pulling a car trailer. <laughs> oh, dear.
This is expected to be delivered by 10.38. Okay, so it needs to be there before 7.15 in the evening. We'll be there at, call it, 10.35 a.m. So, yeah, plenty of time to go and, and do that. Right. We'll get rid of that. I see, I do like to just show it so you guys can see what we're doing. Oh, turning off here. Right. That was a, a quick journey, yeah. I had a feeling that some of these roads are going to be on what we were on yesterday, getting into Paris. Um, but yeah, we do need to maybe start looking at... Really? <clears throat> You're in the finger to the copper behind, mate. <laughs> Literally, hardly... Well, I, all right, I was, I was actually massively speeding. But over such a short period of time, I'm surprised I even counted. We shall pay the toll at the end of the road. And now we have 56 miles an hour as the speed. That's what I like about France. If you go into Germany, that'll drop to 50 and... Yeah, just... I think it's just slightly better to just be able to go that a little bit quicker. Not to speed up any jobs, it's just... If you can do 56, so that means you can do 60 with a little bit of speeding that you can get away with on the game. It just means we can cover a bigger distance. Like if we were going to Spain, for example, now from Paris to Madrid doing that big job, yes, it was a thousand miles. But when you can just kind of go over the speed limit a little bit, that thousand miles just gets completed a little bit better. Do you know what I mean? It's just... I was, I was saying that a thousand miles is still a thousand miles. I suppose it goes on the time, the distance, doesn't it? So if it was a 10 hour job but you're on a 50 road or 10 mile an hour on a 56 road. I need to just pull back over there. I'm going to pull off here. Keep right. It is very dark when it rains, guys. It is so dark when it rains. Exit. Right. I would, but I don't really know how sharp that corner is. Really? That's main beam? <laughs> okay, and that's main beam, guys. That's main beam. Okie dokie. Uh, that doesn't really improve things, does it? Let's be honest. Right, look at that for the car there. I... I couldn't see that car till the like oh and there's a truck in front of me wow it's proper it's proper crappy weather when it's uh when it's raining and at night time at night time normally you, you know you see a little bit better than this but this is night time and rain it's just super dark keep right and then exit right keep right i am keeping right but i can't see a thing I genuinely can't see a thing. Exit. Right. I, I, don't, I genuinely don't know how I'm uh, managing to not crash, to be honest. I can't see how severe the corners are for taking. Like, you know, you can't see trucks and cars in front of you until the very last second. I think we need to get some better lights on the truck, guys. I think we need more lights now. Now, I was trying to avoid getting more lights, but I think it's maybe time to get some new lights on the truck. I feel like the truck's not very safe at the moment. No. Yeah, look, I, I, I don't. I don't feel very... I don't feel very comfortable and safe with the truck as it is. Now that, that one's not too bad because he's got the little reflectors on the back. It was a bit easier to see. But the ones that don't, just the lights are not good enough. So maybe it's time we, uh, we buy a new truck. Why are you braking? Why are you braking? You literally have a lane to pull out on 
and you're breaking, trying to cause an accident. You're trying to cause an insurance scam. Disgusting behaviour. You shouldn't be allowed to drive. You should not be allowed to drive. But yeah, um, as I was saying, look at these lights, guys. They're bloody terrible. Let's just... Keep right. That's a little bit better. Right. I'm going to presume the rain's going to stop because it's not quite as dark now. Although saying that, it is 2.43 in the morning. <gasps> ah! I was not listening to the sat nav lady. I was too busy looking at the weather. Yeah, maybe it's just the case of... Um, it's just slowly coming sunrise. Right, there we go. So, a lovely jubbly. We didn't need to really stop a fuel, did we? There was quite a few places to stop on the way. I think that's the third petrol station we've uh, we've passed now. As per usual, guys, if I just go quiet for a quick second, there's a good chance I could be sneezing or something. Yeah, like I say, hair fever is once again kicking my ass today. Once again kicking my ass. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh yeah, the internet cable people, guys. They have passed my house now. They've completely finished our street. Um, you know, like the main cable, obviously. So now it's a case of uh, waiting for basically waiting for them to be like look right we're in your area now we can connect you that's basically the uh, information i'm waiting for before i can uh, order my new internet so looking forward to uh, that one coming um but yeah i was looking at price options yesterday and well basically we've got options of virgin media 1000 meg download 150 upload i think was 65 pound a month um, yeah, I, I I already got a better deal than that. And I found a company, I think it's pronounced Connect, Connexian, uh, based out of Hull. They're offering 1,000 download, 1,000 upload, and they're offering that for £50 a month. So, yeah, it's already cheaper and I get a better upload. You've got to think, as, as someone who creates content and creates videos, for me personally, I need the upload speed, do you know what I mean? Yeah, don't get me wrong, 150 megabits or megabytes, whatever it's bloody called, is a, still a fantastic up, upload speed. But obviously, it's not as good as a thousand, so I'm thinking that a thousand is... Uh, a thousand up, a thousand down is the, is the one we're going to go with. I think, anyway. I think it makes more sense to, to use that one. And it's a bit cheaper. Not that price is really an option. Um, I just want good internet, you know what I mean? There's there's five people in my house and we all like to stream like 4K Netflix. Well, that ain't possible on uh, 50 megabits, you know what I mean? And 50 is about average. On a good day, we can get 54. On a bad day, we're lucky to get 45. Do you know what I mean? It's it's just an absolute joke being, uh, being with British Telecom. BT, one company I would never recommend to go with. The problem I've got is, personally, is whoever I go with, I have the same problem because nobody wants to pay to fix the line. Thank you very much. I had my indicator on. You saw I was pulling out and you still decided to crash into the back of my wagon. Thank you very much, you douchebag loser. There we go. It's not my fault the traffic's going so bloody slow. Keep right. Keep right. Okie dokie. But yeah, um, like I said, nobody wants to pay. But the reason why is because everyone's starting to install glass fibre everywhere. And nobody wants to come along and be like, oh, well, I'll install you a brand new copper line under the ground. Not to my house, it's the line from the box to the pole. That's knackered. And it's still got an old 1960s, 1970s uh, aluminium cable. 
and all the connections are knackered and VT you know and when open reach have come out in the past they're like oh yeah we, we've had to trim a bit off the cable but the problem is they can only trim so long before that wire is no longer good enough but an open reach like oh yeah we, we'll replace it for you but VT have to pay it and it's like okay and VT didn't want to pay it point blank refused to pay it like no Because obviously everyone wants these glass fiber cables now which don't get me wrong a lot faster internet speed so I see where they're coming from it's just someone who basically wants better internet could get I could literally double the speed up to 80 if they just replaced that cable now I to be honest we never had an issue with 80 before but then again that was with the kids being small and things like that but yeah I am so looking forward to better internet and I know Virgin Media is a good company. I know they do some really good deals in that, but Connexion, a uh, company based from Hull, just £15 a month cheaper and give me a 1000 up and a 1000 down. And they look, then they will increase it to 2500 when their system's fully fully done, but that, that's in testing at the moment, so can't really say for sure we're guaranteed to get that, you know. I know they're testing that in, in certain places. So they're already looking at going from one to two and a half. Now the upload speed would stay at a thousand. But who needs more than a thousand uploads? Actually, I need more than a thousand upload speed. I'd like to press upload and before I've even finished pressing the button, it's already on YouTube ready and waiting. Oh, that would be fantastic. Yeah, but one of my biggest issues is YouTube. It's not, not like an issue, like YouTube's an issue, like a problem. But like YouTube processing my video, for example, I put yesterday's video on to upload. It takes about three hours to upload, okay? And then it takes YouTube about six hours to process it. That's what it says. It says, we shall take approximately six hours to process. 90% of the time, it's done in time and it's ready for seven o'clock. Sometimes it's not and it's just... Um, I'm not being funny, but why are you slowing down? You want to change lane for no reason. Um, right, what was I saying? Yeah, I got distracted there. Um, but obviously on my partner channel over on uh, on the farming channel, um, that basically, once that video gets uploaded, again, approximately three hours to upload. Keep right. But it's and like, we'll be done in three hours. And it's like, okay, so clearly YouTube partner program gives me faster processing or a higher priority or something like that. But not only that, it's, it doesn't take the three hours to do either. It's done usually in about an hour and a half. But the trucking channel, it's, you know, like I say, sometimes you're lucky for it to be, even be ready Ten hours later it, it's it's crazy so if you watch this video and you really do enjoy the series or you've watched this video and you're like i actually want to watch more of this please watch the series from the very beginning one we need to create four thousand watch hours we need four thousand watch hours and we need to get to a thousand subscribers so we can apply for a youtube partner that will help this channel it will help the videos get on quicker. Obviously, once my new internet comes up, they'll upload quick. You know what I mean? It. I won't feel as rushed. But some days, I do feel like I should start recording the day before. So I'm guaranteed them to be ready on time. But that's maybe like 10% of the time that I feel like that. You know what I mean? Other times, I just feel like, well, no, we don't. Sorry, that was my bad. I was looking at my side panel for the wiper button. Sorry, my bad. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I'm like in a... I'm in like a catch-22. You know, I, I need... If you like this series, please try and watch it from the beginning. Even if you just watch one video a day, that, you know, on top of... Like, I, I, I put one video a day out. If you could watch another video a day, you know, and if you want to start from the beginning if you I'm, I'm saying if you haven't already it helps build up my community hours like my watch hours i've got to get four thousand watch hours in a year now we can do that with these we're already at a thousand hours watched i've only been this is what i'm recording right now is episode 51 which means i've been doing this for about 50 days 
because we had a bonus episode the other day so we had two episodes in one day so we've been doing this now for about 50 days we've already hit a thousand watch hours so i already know how supportive you guys are and i'm you know i'm not trying to say you're not supportive right. and but then exit right we need to hit four thousand watch hours and we need that one thousand subscriber we hit that we can apply right. for partner once we do i think i'm going to get a ticket here for not going through a wait I'll find a new route might do might get a ticket there for not getting weighed no you just wanted me to go off the motorway for no reason okay um so yeah kind of just gives you an ex just gives you an idea where we are guys you know what i mean exit right i don't think i need to be this way but i uh straight on if I pull out of here and I've missed that section of motorway, I'm going to go nuts. Um, but yeah, to give you an idea, like I say, we just got to get them subscribers and then that will benefit the channel. It means the YouTube will be processing. Um, I will be able to take more control over the adverts as well. I know, guys. I, I've i watched this video, the videos back and things like that from a, not my, one of my accounts, you know, like on Incognito. I know how many adverts you get per episode. It is annoying. And unfortunately, guys, there is nothing I can do about the adverts until I get partnered. I can't control the adverts until we get there. So it helps it as well. If you like the series and you haven't hit the subscribe button, hit that subscribe button. It'll help us out as a community and as a whole. You get the videos on faster. I get the videos on faster. I can control the ads, so it means you watch less adverts. How is that not a win-win for everybody? You know what I mean? But yeah, I do massively appreciate everybody who watches now. Like I say, a thousand watch hours in 50 days. Uh, yeah, huge, huge guys, absolutely huge. Massively, massively appreciate that kind of uh, watching. For how small we are as a channel, a thousand watch hours is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, how did we crash? I know there was a car behind. Did that car literally just drive into me because I was in this lane? Is that three crashes now? Four crashes? And yet not a single one of them was my fault. Not a single one of them was my fault. I'm feeling really, 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 really robbed today, guys. Like, how many times do I need to change lane and then a car just decides, well, I'm not going to stop, I'm just going to crash into you. But, you know. Oh, look, there he is, the car behind me. You want to crash into me again because I'm in this lane? You. Mm. Yeah, I don't know if you The mm was me giving him a finger. <laughs> I was giving him the finger. Oh, I'm getting road rage. I'm getting road rage don't mind it right when ai traffic picks on the dragon lady because they leave me alone but today they're picking on me but i pulled out in front of that car into that other lane i had plenty of time i did it safely my indicator was on and he just drove into the back of me I, I, yeah i don't I, I you can't make it up can you Your little Opal bash Vauxhall. What have we got here? Do we need to change that? We need to change lane apparently. So I don't know if we actually need to change lane, but I'm going to. It told me to keep less, so I will move. Yep, see, look, I'm glad I did that. Right, so that car did all that bad driving just to turn off at the next junction. Wow. How robbed do you want to be? You know what I mean? How robbed do you want to be? Nope, nope. I, you know, I went to change gear then. To find that I'm already in... I'm already in the uh, highest gear possible. Keep left keep left i'm keeping left once again we've got 90 miles to go wow that to be honest with you just chatting in general i do love this 
this uh, these videos though so we can just have a chat in general i know i'm not getting like any response but i know a lot of you guys do actually reply to me in the comments and i do massively appreciate that i appreciate everything everybody does you watch the you watch the videos you hit that subscribe button um the amount of you know what is it two two or three patreon subscribers in the last month massively appreciate that kind of support as well helps keep the channel going Yeah, still, still thinking about the trailer idea, about buying a trailer and writing all my Patreon and YouTube members down on it. You know, as a, you know, as the skin. You know, like what I did on the farming channel. We got like that banner, that. You know what I mean? So yeah, I just, yeah, maybe it's. Uh, what is it sorry i'm just i can feel my throat going but when i stop talking it goes away and then when i start talking it feels like i'm i'm gonna cough kind of thing so yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get that just to pass like i say hay fever guys is absolutely right. and genuinely right. kicking my ass again today exit right Turn right. Look, yep. Again, I've gone to change gear. I've just gone to change gear and... Yeah, I can't. I'm out of gears. We're in sixth. Yeah, I'm not in sixth anymore. <laughs> I uh, accidentally uh, pressed the clutch, put it in neutral, and then didn't put it back in gear. Right, to give you an idea, guys, I'm just looking at the speedo now on the left-hand side at the bottom. We have done 3,205 miles in this truck. That is fantastic. I can't get over how how much we've added on this truck already. I really do love this truck. I, I kind of don't want to get rid of it, but I do want to tried the other trucks like i've driven the mercedes for example before but i've never actually owned one so i would like to own the top of the range mercedes i'd like to own the new man truck but i don't have a skin for it um no one seems to take me up on the offer to create me a free skin out of everybody who watches i, I wish somebody would <laughs> fair enough I, I get it no one wants to do something for free nowadays but yeah if anybody does want to create me a free skin i can send you the logo over i, I kind of just like some of Kinda like what we've got now. You know what I mean? It's just simple. You know what I mean? I, I don't need now. Right. Don't need now. Fancy. Right. Just want something with me little logo on. And we will drive the brand new man truck at some point. But I know at the moment, like right. every YouTuber, when it came out, basically everybody went and bought it. And Get I'm just trying to drive all the trucks I've not driven before. Turn left. I am. We're not far away if we're turning off the motorway, that's for sure. 26 miles left to go. 53 minutes of delivery time. 2 hour 39 to find somewhere to sleep. So that is a perfect job. But no details. Oh, hang on a minute. We're just speeding it a little bit. Let's just lower that down to 41 mile an hour. There we go. Lovely. I think that has done pretty, pretty good. I'll tell you one thing though. There's not been over much traffic again today, has there? Now, I get it's still early morning. 8.44 a.m. But straight on. I still feel like there hasn't been over much traffic. And normally you see quite a bit of traffic. But I, I suppose that's one thing I have noticed with the game. We've talked about it in the past. One minute there's like a load of traffic. And then the next, there's not much. I 
and we are currently stuck at 41. Like I say, we always do the four mile an hour over the limit. It just helps us do a bit better jobs. Um, but if people don't like me speeding all the time, doing the four mile an hour over, I can happily just do the speed limit. But just don't forget the jobs would get smaller. Although if the jobs get smaller, we wouldn't earn as much. Uh, yeah, I, supp I suppose. I suppose what we could do, we should stick to the speed limits on normal jobs and these faster delivery jobs that have to be there within a time scale. You know, like a, an important delivery and stuff. Maybe they could be the ones we kind of speed a little bit on. Kind of varies the uh, jobs we do at the moment, I suppose. That's always an option. Get ready. A possibility. Turning left. Okie dokie. I've got, no, I've got no idea how you would pronounce that, guys. So I'm not even going to bother trying. There we go. We have turned left. There we go. One new town explored. And we are back in Germany. Get ready. I love Get just ready. being able to go to different countries really often. You know what I mean? Oh, it's all right. I was getting ready to turn right then, but it's right on the next one. Turn right. I am. And then I think we're pulling it in left. Get ready to turn left. Yes, we are. So there we go. There's a garage down there. I wonder if there's a dealership and a turn repair left. center. Oh, there's a gate here. So we just got to wait for that gate to open. So slow and steady. Oh, that's handy. It opens from the other side. Alright, so let me do that. Let's just go there. Oh, it's a, a bit of an awkward one for the delivery. We should be alright, though, to be fair. We should be alright, to be fair. I want to see if I can try and do this. It helps if Matt changes the wheel the right way. I do find it difficult to park using mirrors. Um, just the mirrors. But I feel like it's something we need to practice as well. But I can tell you now, guys, that has gone all kinds of wrong. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe that's something I should practice on my other account where I'm uh, not exactly in much of a pressure situation on the video where basically I can take all the time in the world I want to practice it. All that. Let's just go forward. We can now go back. Get the window open. Stick our heads out. I could have gone in the yard, actually, and basically turned round and coming from that angle, I'd have had the mirror then. That's, that might have been a better way of doing it, to be honest. But what have we done on this job, guys? We've got 449 miles. We did 8, eight hours, 56, 285 litres of fuel. That's a good chunk of uh, XP as well. And then we've got all these bonuses. Equals 20,797 in the bank. 1,282 XP. That is quite a lot of XP. Now, what have we got on the world map in this town? Let's just let's just have a look. Now, there's a nearby. There's, we've got a garage. We've got a garage. That so that's all there is here. There's there's two companies here. That's all there is. So my what I'm going to do off recording then, guys, is I'm going to go to the garage, um, rest up for the next episode. Uh, well, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode hopefully you've enjoyed the uh, bit of conversation we always have and uh, as always guys i will see you all in the next episode but so thank you for watching and i'll see you all later on